I'm Miss Barner. I'm the homeroom teacher for 7-1 and I teach grade 6 and 7 math and science this year as well as grade 6 French. I'm looking forward to a great year. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Kanji. I teach uh, grade 6 and 7 humanities. I'm also the homeroom teacher for 6-1. Um, I'm looking forward to having a great year with all of you and I hope all of you enjoy your time here at CNGS. Hi parents, uh, Mr. Stasek here and Mr. Helwig. This year I'm teaching grade 6.2 and 7.2 math and science. I am teaching art as an option and my art classes will be with grade 6 students this year. Hi, I'm Mr. Helwig, as Mr. Sazek has said. Uh, I am going to be te teaching 6-2 and 7-2 humanities. So that's uh, language arts and social studies, a combination of the two. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting to uh, get to know your, all your children again. I've, we've had the 7-2 as previous last year, uh, but the 6-2, six, six you're going to be our new students, so it'll be a great year to get to know each other. Hi, my name is Mrs. Petalo, and I'm the homeroom teacher for 6-3. I teach grade 6 and 7 humanities, and I'm also teaching grade 7 Comtech. Hello, everyone. I'm Jenna Ann Hilliger. I teach grade 6 and 7 math and science. 7-3 is my homeroom, but I also teach 6-3, and my option is Music 6. Hi, my name is Chrissy Osiki, and I am the 6-4 homeroom teacher, and I will be teaching Humanities to room 6-4 and 7-4. Hi, I'm Elena Lavoie, and I am the 7-4 homeroom teacher. I will be teaching Math and Science to 6-4 and 7-4 this year. We hope we have, we a, hope great we have a great year. year. Hi there, uh, my name is Borden Miller. I teach grade six, seven humanities and I am the grade six homeroom teacher this year. And hi, I'm Mr. Lee. I teach math science to the grade sixes and sevens and I teach phys ed. Hi there, my name is Don Diong and I teach grade six, seven humanities. And I'm Nathan Pohanka and I teach grade six and seven math and science. Hi, I'm Miss Liu. I'm the homeroom teacher for 6-7, and I teach humanities to 6-7 and 7-7. And hello, uh, my name is Mr. Tober, and I teach math science to my homeroom at 7-7 and also to 6-7. We look forward to a great year with all of you. I'll be talking about safety expectations. We encourage all staff and students to use the daily COVID wellness checklist from the Alberta Health Services, and this can be found on the CNGS website. Students are required to wear a mask in the building. Please remember to bring a mask and maybe even an extra one, as we are running out of the disposable ones here at the school. In addition, we are all asked to social distance where possible. Students are also encouraged to sanitize and wash their hands as often as possible. There are sanitized stations throughout the school, and each classroom has a sink. This year, the grade sixes are cohorted, which means their classes will not be mixed with any other class. One further reminder is that we ask students to arrive and leave through their designated doors. If you are leaving early or arriving late, please enter through the front office so that you can sign in or out. Thanks. students work through middle school, we work with them to develop strong study and homework skills. The CBA guidelines on homework state that our grade sixes should be doing around 20 minutes per night and our grade sevens a minimum of 30. That homework may look like finishing work that wasn't completed in class, reading, reviewing their materials from all subject areas, or working on additional math practice. One program that we are putting in place this year is a weekly numeracy assignment that students can complete at home and then we will take it up together in class. This would allow us as teachers to identify some of the gaps in numeracies that may have resulted from the past couple of years and some learning interruptions. Grade 6 will be participating in four options this year, art, CTF, French and music. So one of the things that I think is important to know about middle school is these are the years where you can just go for it. You can try different clubs, you can try uh, different teams, and one of the 
Opportunities that we provide for our grade 7 students is that they can sign up to take different option classes. They can work in the foods lab and um, learn how to prepare different foods in a safe manner. Um, we've got a fantastic construction program where students learn to safely use tools to build different things. Um, our leadership course organizes different school initiatives and works on building leadership skills through um, providing experiences for students like our Terry Fox Run. We have a fantastic band program where students have an opportunity to learn new instruments. Uh, there is an art class for grade 7 students and I know some of them are excited to begin painting. We have a comm tech or communications technology course where students um, learn a variety of skills such as coding um, French is an option that we provide for our grade sevens where they begin learning a second language. And finally, we have performing arts where students have the opportunity to um, showcase their many talents. Each homeroom will be using Google Classroom this year, so teachers will be posting assignment descriptions, helpful resources, as well we will be expecting that students submit their work on there. Um, there is a stream page where we will be posting any important information coming up as well. And students used this platform last year when learning went online, so they should be familiar, but teachers will be giving a refresher in their homerooms to make sure that everyone knows how to navigate around. We will be using Google Sites to communicate with parents. You will be able to find updates about homework, content being covered, and extra resources on your child's homeroom site. Stay tuned for more information about how to access your homeroom page. We look forward to working with you to ensure that your child has a great year. If you have any questions or concerns, either about this video or throughout the year, please do not hesitate to contact us. Our emails can be found on the school website and we will respond to any inquiries within a timely manner. Thank you so much for watching our video. Bye.